one discovery that I make, which is very interesting, which has been reported elsewhere, is that the 7000 is very good at photographing snow or really photographing any light or white reflective scene, where most cameras are going to underexpose for that because the reflectivity of the white is much higher than the average reflectivity the cameras have been designed to perceive. And so they generally underexpose because they think the scene has more light than it does. And so what you have here on the right is the 7D, which produces the typical underexposure for a snowy scene. And that you have here on the left is the 7000, which uh, just completely nailed the exposure, where all the, there's no clipping whatsoever. There's full detail within the snow, but the snow doesn't have that underexposed look. So it, it's correctly identified the snow as the midtone and properly positioned it as the midtone. Whereas on the 70 photograph, like most cameras, it identified the snow as a highlight. And so it pushed what should have been the highlight into the midtones and pushed what should have been the midtones, which is the snow, into the lower midtones or the shadows, which is what produces that underexposure. And so I'll stop this short here. This video is already long enough. Uh, but I'm planning to do hopefully some future videos that uh, show some more differences in, in the exposure systems uh, between these two cameras.